Right, it's, we might as well uh, cancel the World Cup because fucking Nicholas Bentner, uh, the Danske superstar, the Danish superstar, I mean, even better than Lars Ulrich. Uh, I mean, Orga Hreide, uh, the Danish coach, I mean, no, I, I, I'm not going to blame him. I'm not going to blame him on the fact... Uh, Bentner has been injured and with a groin injury and he's 30 years old so I mean I I don't think the fact he's 30 does it it's the fact that he's injured it would have been great to see Bentner at the World Cup Uh, the the man from the man the man the myth the the legend I'm going to find out where he's from now Kirbenham Copenhagen of course he is he's a Danish superstar he's a Danish king Lord Bentner Rosenborg Bors finest superstar 22 goals 40 games in the Norwegian Super League I mean come on he's he's a legend Arsenal legend Wolfsburg legend every Juventus, I can't even remember him playing for Juventus. It doesn't matter, Danish legend. 70, 79 games, 30 goals. 30 goals. That's how many goals you would have got at the World Cup. You would have got the golden boot. And if FIFA was not corrupt, he would have won the Ballon d'Or 10 times by now. It's just a fucking shit show, man. Nicholas Bentner always gets the raw end of the deal. And he's he's a class act. They're actually lucky enough uh, in the privileged position last year to actually go see him play. I, I mean, I was already in Norway. I didn't go there to actually see him play. Like, specifically to know I was already there. But I, I got to see him play. And man, was he class. Him... And uh, Mike Jensen, neither of which are going to be playing at the World Cup. I mean, I don't think Mike Jensen would have had much of a chance. I mean, come on. He, he's he's basically the uh, Chris Christian Eriksen, Eriksen of, the, of the Norwegian League. But, yeah, it would have been nice to see Bent uh, in the World Cup. I would have very much liked that. Uh, I'm still going to be rooting for Denmark because there's some likeable players here. Let, I'll, let's go quickly through the Danish team. Uh, and see the team, Orga Hreide. Um, it's 23-man squad. No Nicholas Bentner. No Andreas Bie- Bielan. Or oh, Mike Jensen, as I say. No P- Peter. Peter Ankersen. No, none of him either. Okay, we start off with Kasper Schmeichel, who's going to be the number one goalkeeper, undoubtedly. Uh, of course, son of a legend, legend himself, winning the world, the World Cup, winning the, winning the Premier League with Leicester, of course. Jonas Lössl from Fra Huddersfield, of course. Uh, Frederick Lerner uh, from Bron- Brunby. Uh, Simon Shaw. It's centre back. Uh, Federic Reno is uh, the third keeper there. Obviously, the final. Yeah, this is a so. Th- therefore, this is the 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 final uh, World Cup team. Uh, so yeah, it is sad. As I said, Nicholas Bentner not being at the World Cup. They might as well reschedule. They might, you know, you would have thought Russia Putin would be able to pull some strings, get Bentner. Get bent nine into the World Cup, like, uh, delay the World Cup a few months. We'll wait until September. It'll still be nice. It doesn't matter. We'll play in the snow. Nah, there won't be snow in Russia. Uh, Simon Shah from uh, Sevilla. Uh, good centre back, very good player. Yeah, we we'll go for a certain so, Of course, you know, Casper Schmeichel's very good. Jonas Lursel, good number two keeper as well. He's had a good season in Hersfield. Don't know. Frederick Frederick Orlando, don't know him. Andres Christensen, a good player for uh, Denmark, definitely. 
Uh, Matthias uh, Z- Zanke Jurgensen from Huddersfield. Not a bad play again. I don't think. I think the starting line, starting centre backs would be Shaw, Simon Shaw, Andre or Andreas Christensen, and maybe Vestergaard. I I think Yannick Vestergaard from uh, Munchen Gladbach. Another good player, Henrik Dals D- Dalsgaard. Um. He's a fullback, as far as I know. Uh, Brentford, okay, in the championship, not a bad. I've, I've know this guy from FIFA. His FIFA cards have always been pretty good, even when he was in Denmark. Oh wait, I mean, this this whoa whoa whoa, whoa whoa whoa. I've just thought which which player did not make this team, who should have done. Uh, Domissi, unless he is chosen to play for. Uh, no, he plays for uh, Denmark. Oh, he only plays. Does he only play for under twenty? He can't play for under twenty-one. Well, yeah, Risa Domissi. Why is he not in this team? He should honestly be in this team. This World Cup team. I'm sorry. Uh, Real Betis and Brunby legend. I don't know why he's not in this team. Maybe he's not. He doesn't play that many games for Real Betis. The one game I saw him play and he was an absolute beast. He's played 24 games this season. Left back, yeah. He's a left back, yeah. I was going to say, unless he's chosen to play for... Unless he's chosen to play for Albania, but he's played... He's already played a lot of games for Denmark. Why isn't he in this World Cup spot? What the hell? There's been a mistake, I'm sorry. Uh... Domissi isn't in the team. Let's definitely let's reschedule the World Cup. We need to get Bentner and Domissi in this World Cup team for a start. As Jens Struger from Udinese. I don't know. Don't watch Italian football, so I don't know him. Uh, I haven't heard very much of him either. I mean, if he's any good. Jonas Knudsen from Ipswich. And, He's probably all right. William Quist from FC Kirbenham. Uh I've seen him in a lot of FIFAs. He seems to have all right. I think he, he. I'm not sure how old he is. Thomas Delaney. I like Thomas Delaney solely because he's always had solid cards. I've seen a couple of highlights from this season for Werder Bremen, and he seems like he's one of their. He's definitely one of the. Werder Bremen's best players and probably one of Danish this Danish midfield's one of best players obviously he's not Christian Eriksen levels or nothing but he's a good solid player he could be in a good a good solid middle of the table even maybe higher Premier League team from what I what I've I know of him he seems like a good boy um Lucas L- 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 Rager. Uh, I don't know who this guy is from Bordeaux. Lucas L- Lerager. I don't know how you say his name. Uh, Lassi Lassi Schöner. Lassi Schöner from Ajax. From Ajax. Very easy. He's a good player. I mean, in the Dutch league, he definitely is. And he's getting on a bit now. Like he's he's in his thirties now. He's a good player though. He's he's experienced. He can score goals. He's got no pace, but he yeah for Ajax he was a beast. So was the next man. Uh, Christian Eriksen was a beast for Ajax. Is a beast for Tottenham and Denmark now. Michael Crondelli, legend, he plays for Deportivo now. He used to, he was Sevilla before. A lot of the there's a lot of good Danish players playing out in Spain now as well. Celta, next one, Celta winger. Is he a winger or does he play Cam? Maybe, I think he's a winger. Sisto. Uh, P- Pony? I don't know how he says his name. I've never heard of him. Anyway, Sisto, his first name, I don't know. Martin Braithwaite, uh, Borough legend, Millsborough legend. You uh, can play him anyway. You can play him striker, uh, Cam wing. I think he's he's found his form again in Bordeaux. I, I've seen little clips of him back in Bordeaux. Never saw him do any a lot for Millsborough. I don't think he really got 
the time there. Although, yeah, I don't know what happened to him at Middlesbrough, regardless. Andreas Cornelius for Atlanta, striker. Now, we've seen this guy before. It uh, Okay, this is getting quite long. But, uh, I don't need to go into the life details of each and one of these players, but we're nearly finished. Andreas Cornelius, a good striker. I think he's big, plus six foot tall, good in the air. Uh, a similar type of player to Nikolai Jurgensen, who I also like a lot in this team. And he's obviously doing fairly well in Italy. I've seen, I've seen very, I've seen bits and pieces, and he's obviously a much better player than he was. He never got a chance at Cardiff when they signed him there. Next is Victor Fisher, the winger, primarily, uh, as he plays uh, FC Kerbenham, FK, of course, FK, FK, FC, Kerbenham, F. F F core F I don't know how this uh, regardless um not a bad player again I think he's one of these under underdeveloped uh, he hasn't lived up to full potential yet another Bur- Burrow legend or oh, not Burrow legend because he didn't do anything they had sold him pretty much straight away uh Yusuf Paulson he's supposed to be very good for uh, RB RB Leipzig. Uh, Nikolai Jurgensen, I already say, uh, was it last season? He had an absolute. No, I'm not. I don't know how good a season he had this year. I don't think he had quite as good a season. The season before, I saw lots of clips of him, lots of goals. Uh, I, no, I actually watched some of the games rather than just clips. I, I actually watched final just to see some of him, and he, he was absolutely. He's an absolute beast. I think he could be in a top team. He could come to my team, Newcastle. I would take him. I'd take the next guy as well. Kasper Dolberg, another good striker. Younger, but uh, big potential. Both of these big, tall strikers. This is what you want from a Danish team. You want your big, tall players. you got lots of big, tall players. Yannick Vestergaard, Simon Shaw. Lots of big players. You're going to love them at the corners. You're going to want them... You you want a bit of that Viking spirit, you know, like Iceland brought to the competition. Uh, I'm gonna be rooting for all these countries. Uh, Iceland's a, a favorite of mine. There's some there's some very likable players in here for me. Jurgensen, Dolberg, Shaw, Vestergaard, Kasper Schmeichel, uh, Delaney, Eriksson, Lasse Schöner. All good players that I, I like. Although I would have liked to see, of course, the Lord himself, Bentner. Which is a shame for me. No, wait. No Daniel Vass. I don't understand this either. Is this actually the team? Or is this just a joke? This is on the freaking Danish thing. Yeah. They must be injured as well. Daniel Vass would be in this, actually, to be honest. Svenska mid, Forsberg, Abetra, and... Ericsson, I don't freaking think so, I'm sorry. There's some stupid thing that says also interested. Yeah, I've gone through the whole team, but that is another one. I feel like I've missed out a load of players that I've missed out a load of players that shouldn't should have been in this team or the or the manager has. Unless he, he's injured. I I would say Daniel Vass should be in this team as well. Uh okay, tell me what what other Danish players should have been in this team and should they reschedule World Cup so the Lord Bentner can be playing? And uh, okay, maybe I'll make a video about this. Forsberg better, better than is it Forsberg better than uh, Ericsson? I don't think so. Ericsson's that's a ridiculous statement to me. I think Forsberg is good, but uh, Ericsson alone trumps like the whole Swedish team. Uh, basically gives them a lift above any other the standard he's at is uh far surpasses anything swedish it's better than any well it's far surpasses anything in the english midfield which isn't saying much but it, so it definitely surpasses anything in the swedish midfield although you could say forsberg is better than anyone in the english midfield uh like i mean 
center center mids not not a although we don't we don't even really have any so yeah i think denmark are gonna have a i mean i don't know what's a good world cup for denmark uh it's very difficult they play mexico is that the first game yeah i'll be interested I'll, I'll try and do one of these for each team go for the team say some players alike uh but very sad very very sad sad reacts only guys for uh no lord bentner and what well, i'm just gonna cry myself to sleep thinking about lord bentner not playing in the world cup i'm gonna have to go back to norway to go watch him play because i'm not gonna see him at the world cup am i well it's okay with newcastle sign him him and nikolai jurgensen and Kasper dolberg and christian Eriksen. everything will be fun or tom, tom thomas delaney so yeah, attack for attack for the video. Thank you, Tuzan Tack. Hope you, hope Denmark have a good World Cup. Hope England have a. Uh, I know England won't have a good World Cup, so let's just ignore that. But uh, 